Hello, welcome to part two of my orchid haul video. Uh, this is a second order with even more orchids. In this package, it's one, two, three, four, five orchids. Uh, some seedlings, but uh, some flowering size as well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, these are a bit more varied than the last one, which was only catacetums. So I hope you enjoy seeing a bit more variation. I have a Brassavola and a Catacetum addiction uh, at the moment, so let's see. Oh, I'm bleeding, but hey. Ah, ooh, this is looking good. Ah. This is the Bulgophyllum Lewis Sander. It has really nice blooms and I can't wait to see them uh, when they open. Uh, or when I get a spike, I have to get a spike first, but mm, I like thinking ahead. It's a nice size plant and can get it free from the paper without killing it. This is the most recent growth. Um, I am hoping for a spike of that, uh, of that one, but we'll have to see. Uh, the rest of the plant seems to be yeah, in good condition. You just need a little water and a little care. But again, Bulbophyllum Louis Sander. And then. Uh, we have a small little package, but good things come in small packages as well, so let's hope so. Okay. Oh, this was a bit squished on transport, I can tell. Uh, I hope the plant itself is doing okay. This is the Dendrobium Spectabile, a tiny one, and it's supposed to be near flowering size, so I can't wait to see this. Um, I'll take even more out afterwards because it takes, takes up way too much time. And then we have three more orchids, which is correct, so I hope I'm happy with those as well. Aha, uh -huh. ooh, this is a beauty. Um, it's a um, seedling, as you can see. It's uh, Vanda cerulea crossed with Renanthera vietnamensis. Uh, the va Vanda cerulea is a beautiful Vanda. It's blue, it's big, it's beautiful. Uh, and it's crossed with uh, the Renanthera vietnamensis, which has gorgeous red blooms and it's a really expensive spe species of um, Renantheras so I can't wait to see how the blooms of that will come if I can make uh, if I can get it to bloom for me in like three or four years but I'm patient so I can't wait Ooh, I like what I'm seeing I like what I'm seeing ah Beautiful. This is Dendrobium tortillae. It's a beauty. Uh, and it's got one huge new growth and then two smaller growths and a few older growths. Uh, this is near flowering size as well. So this is probably going to be a big plant when it's finally adult, but I, I can't wait to see it. And here we have the last orchid, which is going to be my Dendrobium Lodigesii, and it's a mounted plant. So I don't have any mounts here in my apartment for the moment, but I have a few at home, uh, which are uh, at home in Norway. So uh, one of them are actually, is actually coming here in a month. So I can't wait to show you that. But 
for now we have this one. Oh, okay. Exciting. It looks like this. Um, I'm really not used to this species, so I don't know um, how it's going to be uh, be growing for me, but it's a beautiful, it's a cute little plant, so I hope it does well for me. It's It has a lot of growth. Um, some got a little bent on the way, but uh, accidents happened. Uh, got got a lot of cakeys. Oh, a lot of cakeys. It's amazing, actually. It seems like this is the main part of the plant, and it's just producing cakeys on cakeys on cakeys. It's quite amazing. Yeah, this main uh, piece has ton of cakeys. Well, so I can't wait to see how this plant does. But that was my new orchids. Um, I shouldn't have any more on the way. I don't think so. I hope I don't because I don't have room for any more. But we'll see and um, see you next time with a hopefully an update video on some of the orchids because there are some developments which I want to show. So yeah, see you soon. Bye.